Hey guys, my name is Larry Dillon. I'm the manager of 10 and Under Tennis for USTA Eastern. You know, 10 and Under Tennis is not only a great development environment for juniors, it's also a great way for you to increase your revenue. I've got two clubs today who are gonna give us insight into how they've used 10 and Under Tennis to be successful. Center Court Athletic Club has five facilities, and our main facility is here in Chatham, New Jersey. This facility has 20 courts. We have eight permanent indoor hard courts and 12 clay courts. We have year-round 10 under tennis programs. In the summer, we have 11 weeks of camps, and during the year, we have three 12-week sessions. Before we started the 10 under tennis program with red, orange, and green balls. We had about 100 participants in the program. And in three years since we've made the change, we now have about 750 unique individuals in our 10 under tennis program. Yonkers Tennis is a six court indoor facility, all hard courts, uh, year round. And uh, we have a staff of 25 employees. The club has been around for 42 years. Over the last seven or eight years, we've increased the uh, bottom line here from about $150,000 per court per year to over $400,000 per court per year and Ten and Under Tennis has been a huge part of that. The growth of Ten and Under um, in terms of numbers we've seen 150 to 175 Ten and Under players grow to 350, 375 Ten and Under players. I first came to Center Court Athletic Club as a USTA high performance quick start trainer and introduced it to the club. The club thought it was such a great idea that they introduced it uh, and got rid of all their programs that previously had yellow balls for 10 under players. Keys to having a successful 10 under program is having a total buy-in at the club facility from the owners to the directors of tennis to the tennis pros. And at Center Court we've been able to to achieve that, and everybody who's, who works in our program really believes in the 10 under tennis. I think one of the reasons 10 under tennis has been a success for us is from day one, we made a commitment as an entire staff. I think if your entire staff have buy-in from the front desk, to the programmer, to the owner, and then to the teaching pros. So we made a commitment to that from day one. And we had to convert our previous levels of beginner, advanced beginner, you know, intermediate, advanced type players to 10 and under, or quick start as it was, uh, levels. You know, red ball, red ball one, red ball two, right through to green ball and yellow ball. So that was a complete change of language, philosophy, um, but we turned over the entire program. We didn't just add a piece. It became our philosophy for the entire club and kind of governs how we teach tennis in general throughout the building. The investment in the program was minimal. Uh, we had to buy nets for our 36 foot courts. We had a very small investment in, in putting down blended lines. And the balls, the ball investment is similar to buying yellow balls, so really the investment was minimal. The rewards were substantial because our program grew so much, and not only did we have greater numbers, but the retention rates were higher, and the kids are enjoying tennis more, and they're coming to the club and playing more than once a week. We found that we could be more effective and efficient by placing more kids on certain courts. For example, 36-foot courts with red balls we still maintain a four to one teacher to student ratio. However, it was very easy for us to play 16 kids on the court. We also have the ability with the orange balls to put two pros on a court, extend the sidelines, and have a successful program. With taking up to five kids per court and using the other end of the court, what we've been able to do is an average of five kids per court brings in $240 an hour for us. Times 38 week season, you know, times five days, that works out to about $45,000 per winter season that the club's able to generate, which 
previously was dead court time for us. The growth is more than just sheer numbers though. I think the retention rate has doubled in that time. Um, so that means there's less strain on us as a club to you know, go to the well and refill lost spots. Um, so we're keeping money and upselling those players into play days, junior team tennis, and then they become our older kids who become junior team tennis and into club type players. The key was offering free introductions and we ran kind of like a play day. We ran a free night for two hours, once a month for three months. And we got every single 10 and under player who already was in the program, plus kind of offered it, offered it as an open house to the, the outside as well and got them in the building and we had 100 people in the building for each of those events. And as a result, we got to sell our philosophy, sell what this was about and had parents on the court and they got to see their kids experience it and then we got the buy-in right away. So there you have it. Now you've got insight into how you can grow your 10 and under tennis program. We're here to help at Eastern. For more information, please go to eastern.usta.com.